Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my uh, next video and this video uh, is on the next operator which is split and joint. So why do we we, uh, we use a split operator and joint operator? No. Uh, split operator is used to split the sentence. Uh, if you have any expression or if you have a sentence uh, which has uh, some periods or uh, some uh, um, you can say semicolons and if you want to split that sentence means if you want to split uh, all of that sentence uh, with uh, certain patterns then we use a split uh, operator for that and join is used to as the name uh, is obvious join is used to join sentences so how we can do this we will uh, see in this video okay so let's start so i'm going to uh, make a uh, first create a variable okay so name of this variable is uh, variable will be this okay and uh, now let's create a sentence so this is uh, our shell okay and uh, we are going to going to make another sentence so we create another uh, sentence which will be this this will be a uh, similar I will be using this uh, same sentence but I will apply uh, some some rules here what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some periods here you can say dot in terms of simple language if you talk about simply this is a dot okay. here I have a dot okay now how can we uh, now what we have to do uh, what I want to do is uh, I will be using the split uh, option or the split operator to split this uh, whole sentence wherever there is dot what it will do is it will first um, split this this and then jump to the next line and then uh, on the next line this will uh, on the next line this will write is and on the uh, next line again it will write this so wherever there is uh, uh, this uh, uh, you can say dot or uh, period what it will do is it will write those uh, sentences after jumping a uh, line okay so let's see what i mean when i say this so this is how we are going to do, do this okay uh, how we are going to use this uh, operator so leave a line then this uh, hyphen then we will use this is split and now these two semicolons now let us use columns and then uh, this slash and then this dot okay let's see what we get you can see what I mean what I meant when I told you that it will be splitting uh, the uh, all the words which uh, are uh, stopped by this full stop or you can say the periods okay so you can see this dot is here this so this this is uh, on this line then this is uh, is on the next line then powershell is on the next line okay and so on you can see okay here you can see that the last dot is here and there is no dot here so what it has done is it has splitted this dot uh, this uh, whole uh, you can say um, these whole uh, set of words and it has uh, put this uh, whole set of words in this last line okay so this is how you can do well there is uh, another uh, way to do this there's another method you can say so we can use that also this is split okay 
and again you can uh, use this uh, colon semicolon you see and then uh, this dot and this will also do the same thing you can see that okay now uh, let's uh, let's uh, see let me add uh, you know there is one more way uh, you know um, there is another topic which is called regex okay so these kind of operations are um, done or you can say these kind of operations are um, topic of uh, advanced powershell scripting uh, what does we uh, this regex or regular expression do that it will uh, separate or filter out uh, uh, set of data uh, by following certain patterns okay so when we will discuss the advanced topics in powershell scripting then we will uh, discuss uh, those things here so for now just uh, i will give you a very small introduction about uh, that and this is just a small introduction this is not the uh, advanced so uh, I, I just uh, want you to have a uh, uh, a little idea of what this is and what uh, so that whenever I will discuss regular expression then you will be able to understand okay so now let's uh, work on uh, join operator as the name suggests uh, what oh sorry let us discuss one more thing what if you want to separate what what if you have a number for example 32 okay 325 something like this so uh, right now what will happen okay if i um, first let me clear it and then now uh, we can uh, see what output we are getting we are uh, again let me uh, sorry i'm using this one okay these two will give the same output but i'm using this one you can uh, use any output so you can see that the here is a number suppose if you want to separate a number uh, if you want a sentence which uh, um, you don't want this number in a scenario for example if you don't want this number then how we can uh, separate this or split this this uh, uh, there is an option for this also so what we will be doing is um, again using this split same thing and then this D okay and now you will see that uh, this thing is the number is gone or we can again use to combine the sentence um, since it has um, left a gap here so let's uh, filter that gap or let's So you can see that again it has separated and the number is missing so uh, i will be what in the next uh, topic that is in the join operation i will try to um, remove this uh, gap okay so let's start so what uh, as the name suggests the join operator will join the sentences okay so how it will do so now what i will be doing is i will be using uh, this uh, sentence here to demonstrate what I mean here I will be using this uh, uh, variable and uh, then I will be using this uh, method to separate this variable let's see what happens so you can see here that it is a uh, separated it is uh, it has used a split uh, method here and what it has done that it has split the sentences wherever there is uh, this uh, full stop or you can say where this is this uh, uh, period is okay now we can use the join method to make this all uh, appear in one line or join in one line so let's let's use that method and how i'll be joining using uh, whatever there is here. so you can see it has joined but how it has joined after every 
line means uh, whenever it is joining the next line it is joining that um, with a period sign okay what have would what will happen if i remove this period sign let's see you can see here that it is still joining but it is not uh, with the period sign let us enter any other uh, thing or any other symbol and let's see what happens you can see here that it is joining by this thing uh, by uh, by inserting this uh, symbol between the uh, sentence uh, between the words wherever there is a period okay similarly uh, what will happen if i uh, give a space so let's see you can see okay so this is how join works okay and this is uh, just a small uh, you know um, video on this uh, for more uh, details we will uh, study regular expression which will be the topic of advanced uh, scripting okay so we will discuss that thing there for now uh, this is all and uh, if you like my uh, work and if you really um, want me to make videos uh, like this then please share subscribe to my channel and uh, please uh, also mention whether i should make videos like this uh, in the comment box or not which will be uh, motivation for me to make more videos and uh, okay and uh, please uh, take care and till then uh, goodbye take care